Hello friends, welcome to the Retina Imaging channel. Our new video will be presented by Dr. Dev Malya Das, who is an eminent retina specialist. Over to Dr. Dev Malya. Hello and welcome to another episode of Tweak. That was an interesting case. A young male presented with complaints of centrosecal negative scotoma in the right eye, persisting for four months. The patient had almost normal looking fundus with few RP alterations at and around the fovea. The patient had a base corrected visual acuity of 6, 6 and 6 and a normal color vision. We did an OCT which revealed areas of inner retinal layer thinning inferior to the fovea. OCTA was done simultaneously revealing a normal superficial vascular complex and a normal intermediate capillary plexus. But what was striking was the presence of a large flow void inferior to and partly involving, involving right fovea. Humphrey visual field 30-2 was done showing a centrosecal scotoma which was quite evident when we did an HVF 10-2. The findings of flow void in the OCTA corresponded with the field defect in HBF. The offer slab also showed areas of irregularity corresponding to the atrophy and the area of damage. We came to the conclusion that this was a case of paracentral acute medial maculopathy or PAM. The exact etiology is not well known. However, vascular etiology plays a part. The differential diagnosis of PAM is acute macular neuroretinopathy which occurs in young healthy women and involves the outer retina. OCT and OCTA plays an important part in diagnosing such cases. Thank you and we hope you join us again in another episode of Twig. That was an interesting case.